Have you ever wondered what happens during a dilation and curettage procedure? This medical procedure, often referred to as a DNC, is used to remove tissue from the interior of the uterus. The uterus is a muscular reproductive organ located in your lower abdomen. The cervix, the lower part of the uterus, forms a link between the vagina and the uterus. A DNC can be undertaken for diagnostic or therapeutic purposes. Diagnostically, it can help explore the causes behind conditions such as abnormal or heavy bleeding, severe menstrual pain, difficulty conceiving, or abnormal cells found in a pap smear. Therapeutically, a DNC can address uterine issues like excessive postpartum bleeding from retained placental fragments, cervical or uterine polyps, fibroid tumors, or incomplete miscarriage or abortion where fetal or embryonic parts remain in the uterus. So, as you can see, a DNC can be a crucial procedure for diagnosing or treating specific uterine issues. Now let's delve into what happens before and during the procedure. Prior to the procedure, the doctor initiates the dilation process. This could involve the use of a softening medication or a thin rod called a laminaria, which is inserted into the cervix. The laminaria gradually expands by absorbing cervical fluid, leading to the opening of the cervix. During the procedure, you'll be asked to lie on your back with your legs in stirrups, much like a standard pelvic exam. Anesthesia will be administered. This could be local or general, depending on the specifics of the procedure and your individual needs. Next, a speculum is inserted into the vagina. This instrument widens the vaginal canal, allowing the doctor to visualize the cervix. The doctor then inserts a series of smooth rods into the cervical opening. The rods increase in thickness progressively, which dilates the cervix and allows access to the uterus. Once the cervix is dilated to about 6 to 9 millimeters, the doctor may perform a hysteroscopy. This involves the use of a light and camera to examine the interior of the uterus. The hysteroscopy gives the doctor a clear view of the uterine lining and any potential abnormalities. So, after the cervix is dilated and the uterus inspected, it's time for the curettage part of the procedure. Now, on to the curettage part of the procedure and what happens afterward. Following the hysteroscopy, curettage, the surgical removal of part or all of the uterine lining, takes place. A surgical instrument known as a curette is put to work, either scraping or suctioning tissue. The distinction between a diagnostic and a therapeutic DNC lies in the volume of tissue removed. In a diagnostic DNC, only a small sample of endometrial tissue is collected for lab testing. Conversely, a therapeutic DNC involves the removal of the entire uterine contents to address a known uterine condition. Once the procedure is complete, you're not rushed out the door. Instead, you'll spend a few hours in the recovery room under careful monitoring before being discharged. Aftercare is equally as important as the procedure itself. To prevent infection, it's crucial to avoid sexual intercourse and tampon use for approximately two weeks or until your doctor gives the green light. Another aspect to consider is your next menstrual cycle. Since the uterus needs time to regenerate its lining, your next period might be a little late to the party. This is perfectly normal and nothing to worry about. In essence, dilation and curatage is a straightforward procedure, but it's one that requires careful aftercare to ensure successful recovery. And that, in essence, is what happens during a dilation and curatage procedure from start to finish. In conclusion, a DNC is a common and important procedure used to diagnose or treat specific uterine conditions. It involves the dilation of the cervix and the surgical removal of tissue from the uterus, serving both diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. The procedure is relatively quick and recovery typically involves a short stay in the recovery room. Remember, understanding such procedures helps us appreciate the intricacies of medical science and the lengths it goes to ensure our health and well-being.